Right, Mr. Maurer. So it's no secret that um, you and the Maurer family have, you know, been active all over the city of Bowling Green, you know, helping out a uh, small town community um, to better ourselves. And what is it, what kind of led you to make this contribution to this, uh, to this state facility? I think the, uh, the main reason was uh, Rodney Rogers and Mary Ellen uh, Maisie uh, and uh, Ray Braun, uh, just the, the uh, uh, teamwork and the uh, leadership team there. We, are th we think they're on definitely the right track and uh, we, we were glad to help out. Uh, we're only one of the many who helped make this building possible though. Yes. We're, we're a small part of the whole, I guess, but we're glad to help. We definitely appreciate that. Um, so tell me a little bit more about your time here at BGSU. I know you're, oh. a, you're a past <laughs> graduate and I know you're on the wrestling team. And oh. what are some memories you can kind of think of up for us? Oh, uh, like anybody else, I think those four years were the best years. Uh, I know when my wife was here, she remembers them very fondly and very well. But all my college business courses were in Hayes Hall, a little building over here across from Overman on Ridge Street, uh, and my wife's too. But uh, we were, that was a long time ago. So we're, we're uh, we have fond memories of Bowling Green and uh, uh, made a lot of friends here, still have a lot of them left, thank goodness. And uh, uh, we've, uh, we're definitely Bowling Green lovers. Uh, BGSU has been mighty good to us, and and we were we were happy to play a small part in Bowling Green's growth, hopefully, and an education of tomorrow. Yes, sir. So, uh, BG is a great institution. Yes, sir. So, so uh, how do you see oh, this this new uh, business administration building? It's going to have a whole bunch of new bells and whistles. How do you think that this is going to help our new um, and, and, and incoming and current business students? I've heard uh, Ray uh, Braun talk about it a little bit, and Rodney Rogers, when he was dean, even uh, uh, talked a little bit about it. Uh, uh, Mary Ellen, of course. I. Um, we're hoping that uh, it'll not only physically increase the number of uh, students, but uh, we, we're hoping it'll keep BGSU's College of Business right on the cutting edge. We, the better uh, preparation we can give the student this day and age, the more he or she's apt to succeed. And, and uh, that's our hope anyway, and that's our dream. Hopefully, uh, I know a lot of other folks have uh, helped uh, and, and contributed uh, to make it possible. So I think they all share in that type of, uh, it varies a little bit uh, according to each of us, but we're all uh, hoping for that result. Yes, sir. So uh, keep our fingers crossed. Yes, sir. <laughs> you definitely appreciate that. All right. Last building's one. coming good. The building's coming great. Yes, and, sir. And, uh, it's hard to believe here shortly, uh, I think the fall of 2020, yes, uh, that'll be nice. So I have to ask, how does it feel to have uh, your family <laughs> name on a, on a BGSU building? More than a little humbling, I think. Uh, uh, I don't think we really thought too much of that per se, but uh, and, and uh, uh, I think uh, with our name there, we get far more credit than what we what we deserve. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of people work awfully hard for this result, and I think we'll be mighty happy just to get the result and, and hopefully a, a mighty good result for BGSU. Yes, sir. It speaks so. a lot about your family's character, so we can uh, definitely appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Just it's uh, it's humbling. So, yes, sir. So glad to be part of it.